Alabama State University has been celebrating homecoming all week leading up to the big game tomorrow against Jackson State University. Joining us in studio this morning is ASU President Dr. Quentin Ross. And Dr. Ross, there's so much anticipation around this game and it's sold out. It's sold out. Uh, really, we think it's uh, probably the most anticipated game in the country at this point. Uh, and we're just excited. Uh, people are coming home uh, to just get the feel of the campus again. There's so many activities taking place. And then we have our big game on, on, on Saturday. So. What's that energy level like on campus right oh, now? High, high energy. I'm <laughs> Alabama State has their homecoming this Saturday. And in HBCU circles, this is making headlines because they chose to play Jackson State, which Jackson State fans feels is a slap in the face. You normally play a sorry opponent on homecoming to guarantee an easy victory. The game will be live because it will be played in front of a sold out crowd of over 26,000 fans. All tickets are gone, but they do have some resale tickets available for just $150. If you can't make it in person, don't worry because the game will be broadcasted on ESPN3. The fact that the game is sold out is a great time for recruits to show up. Alabama State has five big time recruits that will be in attendance this weekend, which includes two five stars. Stick around to find out who they are. Before you do that though, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have Joshua Daniel. Daniel is a six foot three, 330 pound offensive lineman from Adamsville, Alabama, where he currently attends Minor High School. He's a three-star recruit in the class of 2023. This guy is a true space eater. He utilizes his size to overpower defenders, but he will need to refine that a bit on the next level. He currently has two scholarship offers. Those schools are Alabama State, in Arkansas State. At the moment, he's committed to Arkansas State, but a good visit may flip him. Next, we have Connor Knight. Knight is a six foot one, 275 pound defensive lineman from Trustville, Alabama, where he currently attends Hewitt Trustville High School. He is a three-star recruit in the class of 2023. He's ranked as the 28th best defensive lineman in Alabama and the 86th best defensive lineman in the country. Even at his current weight of 275 pounds, Knight is nimble and displays great agility. He is strong as an ox, but barely over pursues on a play. Combine that with his IQ and strength, and you will see why so many colleges want him. He currently has 37 scholarship offers from all over the country. Programs like Syracuse, Texas Tech, South Carolina, Purdue, Miami, Maryland, Florida State, Arkansas, and USF, just to name a few. The amount of HBCUs that offered him was impressive as well. Programs like Alabama A&M, Alabama State, FAMU, Jackson State, Prairie View, and Tennessee State. He is currently committed to USF, where he will be playing in sunny Tampa. At least for now, Jackson State and FAMU were in his list of top 11 schools. He even tweeted, quote, this is so different, end quote, after witnessing FAMU's home game atmosphere with the band and students. Knight is truly a student athlete. He routinely makes straight A's and even has Yale and Morehouse interested in him. Regardless of where he ultimately plays college ball, this young man is going places. Hopefully he chooses to attend an HBCU, which will ensure a strong network for him upon his graduation from college. But only time will tell. Next, we have Braden Joyner. Joyner is a six foot two, 330 pound offensive lineman from Auburn, Alabama, where he attends Auburn High School. He is a four-star recruit in the class of 2023. He's rated as the 24th best player in Alabama and the 51st best lineman in the nation. This guy is a grown man. I'm confident in saying that he will end up playing on Sundays. He's a bit of a hybrid. Joyner plays both offensive lineman and defensive lineman. 
in just his first year of playing on defense. He was selected to the first team Class 7A All-State team. In his junior season, he had 67 tackles, including 14 tackles for loss and 6 sacks. He currently has a total of 34 scholarship offers from some big time schools. Programs like Virginia Tech, Tennessee, South Carolina, Ole Miss, North Carolina A&T, Morgan State, Mississippi State, Miles College, Michigan State, Georgia, FAMU, Arkansas, and Auburn, just to name a few. The fact that he goes to Auburn High School it's pretty obvious where he will want to attend college. That's right, the University of Auburn. He's been committed to the program since January 1st, so I'm pretty sure he's locked in. But if he did decide to commit to an HBCU, I think he could single-handedly transform any offense or defense. While we're on the topic of Auburn, I have to address this. Y'all gotta stop with the cultural appropriation. I can see the comments now. What are you talking about? We love black people at Auburn. While that may be true, and I hate talking about race by the way, one bad game by anyone on any sports team at Auburn, and the tweets start looking like they're from the 50s. I see what y'all trying to do with this video, but come on, man. Stop the cap. <laughs> It's in Alabama for heaven's sake. It's not all hate. I just thought that was weird. I gotta give it to y'all though for your graphic design committee. They are A1, so salute to them. Now, to the five stars. First, we have James Big Kong Smith. James Smith, I take Carver High School class 2023. I'm five star defensive tackle. Smith is a six foot four, 310 pound defensive lineman from Montgomery, Alabama, where he attends Carver High School. He is a five star recruit, the number one player in Alabama, the number one defensive lineman in the nation, and the eighth best player in the country. His scholarship offers are from some of the top football schools. What are some of the top schools that are interesting at the moment? Everybody. <laughs> Programs like Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Auburn, Ohio State, and Alabama State, just to name a few. Back in May, Alabama State and Jackson State were listed in his top 11 schools. On the film, you can see him simply uncle failing everybody literally throwing them across the gridiron. It is amazing that at over 300 pounds, he is that fast. Alabama State is in his top five right now, but realistically, his top three schools, according to sources, are Alabama, Georgia, and Auburn. Landing Kong will be the ultimate Hail Mary. He was seen wearing Alabama gloves at a recent game, so that may be an indication of where he will end up. Last but not least, we have Quay Rasaw. Rasaw is a six foot two, 230 pound defensive end from Montgomery, Alabama, where he attends Carver High School. He's a five star recruit, the fourth best player in Alabama, and the third best defensive end in the nation. Hold up, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, you mean to tell me? that not one, but two five-star recruits are on the same team and on the same defensive line. That's crazy. As you would expect, they are currently undefeated, 7-0 in the hardest division of high school football that Alabama has to offer. Similar to his teammate Big Kong, he has elite scholarship offers. Programs like Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Ohio State, Alabama State, LSU, Kentucky, Miami, Michigan, Texas, you get the picture. With all of those offers, look at who made it in his top six back in August. Florida, Ohio State, Georgia, Alabama, Auburn. And would you look at that, Alabama State, 
Now that's dope to see. Just having them in consideration for a five-star recruit lets me know that HBCU sports are moving in the right direction. Thanks for watching the video. If you made it to the end, type in enjoy your visit in the comment section. I want to hear from y'all. What do y'all think about this entire situation? Will any of these players commit to Alabama State? Are five stars visiting HBCUs normal now? And what do you think the final score of the Jackson State versus Alabama State game will be? As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We on the road to 10K. From us, over here at HBCU Spotlight, we out of here. Peace.